Hello, this is Ryan from Heaviosity. Today I'm going to take you in-depth into the macro controller in Novo, Modern Strings. The string designer and loop designer feature a central macro knob, which allows you to control multiple sound shaping parameters simultaneously with one control. You can control the macro knob using the mod wheel on your MIDI controller or using the built-in sequencer. Any knob with up and down arrows next to it can be assigned to macro control. Drag up to set the range of modulation, or drag downward for inverted modulation. A red ring and value indicator show the macro knob's influence on that parameter as it moves in real time. Next to the central macro knob are the range controls. The sliders control the range of modulation for each effect. Toggle the switch next to the slider to invert the macro knob's influence on that effect. In the sequencer, you can shape the movement of the macro knob over time by drawing in patterns or using the shape presets in the lower right. You can also draw straight lines by holding the control key, clicking, and dragging. You can control the rate and length of the sequence with the knobs on the left. Add smoothing between each step with the smooth knob. The range knob can be used to limit the overall range of the macro knob. You can also drag it downward to invert the range. You can set the sequence to loop continuously or to play through once and sustain the last value of the sequence. Let's look at some of the effects you can achieve with the macro knob. In this preset, Channel 1's gate amount is increased and the smoothing decreased as the macro knob value increases. Saturation and distortion are also increased. There's a slight reduction in the low pass filter cutoff to tame some of the high ends of that distortion. There's also an EQ shift. Channel 2 also has increasing saturation and distortion, as well as an EQ shift. It also utilizes an inverted assignment to the reverb mix to make the sound drier as the knob increases. Channel 3, which is using the cycle engine for an arpeggiating panning effect, also uses macro control to shift its sound quality. As the knob increases, so does the saturation, as does the cutoff frequency and resonance of the filter. There is also a slight EQ shift and an increase in the delay feedback. When pieced together, these per-channel adjustments result in a dramatic transformation in sound across the range of the macro knob. For more demos and tutorials on Novo Modern Strings, please visit heaviosity.com.